let's take it. Not like we have much of a choice anyway. It looks like... Why? You see that? That eh? Uh, that spin just happening there? That's weird. Oh well. Boom. Let's see if we can get some millage out of that one. Alright. New attempt. Maybe with more luck this time around. Ooh. Boom, baby. Okay, okay. You feel those. These are pretty, pretty noticeable. And boom, baby. It's not too shabby, if I might say so. And in here we get fire core damage, which is exactly what we have. Let's take it. And here. Okay, he is an armored enemy, but we are to time for the charge. And absolute destruction happens. Pretty, pretty good so far. Uh, I'm gonna restock. For ice? Lightning? Fire. There it is. Hypercore, that's a no. Subweapon upgrade. Transform weapon to an incendiary weapon that recharges. Oh yeah, that's a fireball throwing one. Let's take it. It has been pretty, pretty great for us in the last one after all. We actually already invested into it. There's only one last point left. It was actually taking longer before. There's actually an upgrade we can take that um, makes it even stronger, the charge up. Maybe we are gonna see that one in here today. I certainly will cherish the opportunity. Oh. But I kind of feel like it's gonna be hard to really, really get that in there. Especially on the later floors. With a lot more enemies that are also a lot more aggressive. Ah, crit rate. There. That's gonna help us survive. It's gonna help us stay alive. Some damage there. Okay, first of all, this frog I owe you needs to go. Boom, baby! You jump straight into your downfall. Like chumps. And another fire core giving me the sub weapon upgrade. This one is not that good. We know that one already. But the dash upgrade. Let's go. And this should be the hotel room, right? I think it is. I think it might. Combustion is pretty strong despite being literally the lowest tier upgrade. Here, yeah, as far as I can tell, there have been no upgrades that make me be like, okay, this is just bad. I haven't seen any of these so far. Skill cooldown reduction, crit damage, and skill attack increase. This might actually be kind of sexy. But we don't have exactly super, super high energy regeneration in here. But I'm gonna take it anyway. Uh, let's see. Dash attack damage reduction, more MP is pretty bad. Maximum MP, maximum HP. It's not that bad, but still pretty, pretty bad. Skill attack for normal attack, that's a no. Maximum HP for sub weapon attack, that is also a no. And I just wasted away my red cores like a chump. God damn it. I need to be a bit more conscious about that in the future. Alright, let's go for honk. Honk honk. Can't afford any of these. So we move on. Save for epic. Might be the right choice for the future. Uh, let's see. There's a legendary, which increases damage received from melee attacks by 30%. Hell yeah! Of course I'm gonna take that one. Everything that is going to help me survive all of this garbage I'm dealing with right now. A little more proficiently. Gimme. And more main weapon attack skill. It's also gonna be great. It's also gonna be... A okay. Let's see, get a charge in here. Okay, so the good thing is that you have super armor on the charge. Even if you get hit by charging up, apparently the attack will still go through. And that is incredibly good news for us. There's some big old elite enemies. Boom, baby! It's satisfying when it goes off. Feels good when a plan goes well. All according to plan. 
Uh, let's go for a recharge and another fire core. Yes. There's a sub weapon upgrade, and I like it. We already have the dash. But using the intolerant burn is not too bad either. I'm gonna take this one first. And one more fire core for the kit. Gonna open up this chest, and it is going to contain electric core, crit rate. I'm gonna take the crit rate. Boom, baby. He got me good with a dash attack of his. But we got him back. Ooh, you. That guy just came down teleporting in on me. Oh, man, that attack feels so satisfying. Also, there's poison everywhere. Boom. Gotcha. I hate that you're standing in that poison cloud, you son of a scum lord. My god, the worst of the worst of the scum. Don't want the flamethrower. I do want the guided missiles again. Because they have been pretty, pretty nice. And you know, I just remembered, I need to use my special attack a bit more regularly in here. Because it's actually pretty, pretty good for the axe. And there is Max again. Maximum energy, maximum HP, and reduces skill consumption. Max, you are the wind under my sails. Yeah. Gotta say, the axe has to be one of my favorite weapons so far. Despite me not being the largest of fans of the charge attack, it feels like it gets work done. Ah, sure. More chips never hurt nobody. And we are about to fight Mech. And I can't wait to get all of that done in here. Come on. Let me destroy these, because we need all the red shards we can get our hands on. And there we have it. Just be up in here, because he immediately starts shooting, as he does. And he immediately brings his stun bombs. On cooldown, that's fine. And more of these stun bombs. He's gonna bring down the barrels. Oh no! Oh, okay, that worked out surprisingly good. Damn. Okay, let's go for charge attack in here as he's recharging. I mean, it's okay damage. Certainly not the highest I've ever seen. But it's pretty, pretty okay damage. Oh, you. Oh, you. Can I sit him? Ah, it's hit him partly at the very least. Halfway through, right? Almost. Damn, explosions. Got me good with that shot. He is more of a projector kind of guy, so my melee damage reduction is not gonna do much in here. That damage. And we got him. I think stacking flames on him has more DPS though. It's definitely, definitely very, very strong, that's for sure. And another one. Another fire core, yes. And we get one of the legendaries right off the bat. Maybe we can even improve the legendary right in the next room. That would be huge. And yeah, definitely gonna make this better as far as we can at the very least. The most terrifying creature in the underworld is confirmed to be a goose. Kind of feel like I miss context on that assessment. Uh, we don't have that many shards. But we have enough roses to get this one started in here. So, this one just makes my dash damage better, which is very, very good, that's for sure. Explosive hit, 30 of normal attacks creates an explosion that deals AoE damage. Might also be kinda nice, not gonna lie. And Thronexus deal damage to 5 more enemies before returning. Ah. So our dash already is pretty, pretty strong, just because we already have this one. I kinda feel like... Trying to make the most out of these two in tandem seems to be the best course of action in here. So I'm gonna take it. Let's see how that's gonna treat us. And yes, of course, the fire core. We actually can't get the legendary in here, sadly. Sadly. Let's go for... Probably just making the flame shot constantly better seems to be best, because that damage is actually... Adding exponentially, and I love to see it. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, go. And keep moving forward. <laughs> I once in my life got bitten by a horse. Life Preacher, you made it! Great to see. How are you today? Damage received from burns. Reduced. I think I'm gonna take it. I actually don't really remember if we really have dealt with so many burns in here, but let's pretend like we have. Let's pretend that we have and that that is gonna help us survive a little longer. Life Breacher, my man. How are you doing today? Everything good on your end? Right under that. Dash attack. Oh man, these whirlwind guys. He's dead though. And keep him moving forward. Next to no energy left in here. But that's okay. We are still burning these jesters all to the ground. Actually, because my axe is such a good skill, maybe actually upgrading the other skill might still be better. Hmm. Questions for later. Oh, the axe actually applies mad fire stacks too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think going for the dash skill build is gonna be the play in here for us. Damn, those poison trails, though. And those burgers on the ground. There you are. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that fire core. Put it straight to my veins. Uh, better sub weapon. Definitely gonna take it. There's a frost core and another fire core. Just give me all of these fire cores. Just keep them coming all along in there. That damage is just oh so very delicious. Oh so very excitable. Uh, almost overlooked you, and we can't have that. Can't have you feel like you are not being attended to. Oh man, those struts are so good. And that extra. Yeah, you know what? I feel like I've said that before today, but I think we got something going on in here. I think this run might have some potential. Yeah, we're gonna take this one because of the axe actually benefiting from it. Ooh. Damn you. Not a good spot I got myself into you there. And the danger level is about to increase yet again, as it does. And the extra of destiny. And you should be biting the dust. Alright, fire core. Anything good? I don't want the hyper core. We know it's bad. It's sad, but we know that as a self evident fact. We have almost exclusively gotten fire cores so far, so we know for a fact that that boon will give us huge damage. And yeah, the scaling on that sub weapon is definitely, absolutely unreal. I do want this, but first of all, let's check his epic stuff. Chocolate cookie. And Gamba's bread. Increase. Oh, is that a Lord of the Ring reference? Yeah, one bite will fill you up. I recognize a Lord of the Rings reference when I see it. Um, Let's see. These are all pretty okay, but I think it's definitely gonna be this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my... Lord of the Ring references, that's for sure. That's gonna be extra damage, but let's save our money in here for a moment. Increase sub weapon attack by 47, but heavily reduces my MP. I think there's actually something worth taking. We don't have the biggest recharge anyway, so just work with what we have. I'm gonna go for Honk, just because I know that I get the recharge. Uh, that I get the uh, discount on him. And what is this? Allows attacks to pierce enemies with shields. Not bad. But I think I would rather take the attack and the damage reduction uh, return there. And yeah, I agree. I really, really remember the days of the first trilogy very, very fondly. Not only the movies themselves, but also how they kind of ended up shaping pop culture. Everybody knew about them and everybody was celebrating what they were and represent and how well made they were at the time. 
It was quite something to behold, wasn't it? Oh, man. I kind of feel like the closest we have to that kind of sensation is definitely the MCU. And even there, the novelty has worn off, you know? At least that's how I feel about that situation. Maybe someone will disagree with me on that one. But then again, I haven't seen some of their newest stuff, so maybe I'm just talking out of my butt here. Alright, increases burn damage, that's huge. Don't care about this dash, and increases damage dealt to enemies by a certain amount of each ignition core you have. Definitely also very, very good, especially as we keep getting them. But I'm gonna take that extra burn damage in here. And keep moving forward. The novelty, the creativity, you mean? I mean both. Both. Definitely both. Both for sure there. Oh, you. I hate that attack so much. Oh, well. They all burn. Let it burn. More damage when we below a certain HP threshold. I'm gonna take this one just because that healing is actually very, very good, especially after boss fights. Getting one or two of those basically heal you back after full. Oh man, I love that axe attack. So good. Ooh, there's a lot of bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. He's gonna dash. Or burn to death, I guess. That works too. And there is two legendaries. Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy, heavily appreciates this huge get. So I kind of want both of them. Hmm. I think upgrading this one is actually better than getting this one. I think. But this one also increases all damage pretty, pretty hefty. Let's take it. Let's take both. So we have both. We can always still upgrade them later down the pipeline to some degree. Nothing else to see here. And yeah, those fire boosts, they just keep piling up. They just keep increasing like crazy. And we get 77% uh, destroy enemy shields. It's not bad, but I think I like this one a bit more. Hmm. Actually, this will help us fight elite enemies. Let's take it regardless. Let's just take it regardless and feel good about ourselves. There's some more dash damage increases. Am I gonna take it? I think I will. Oh, it's one of, them, one of those. Nah, in that case, take the crit rate on the super shots. And we are already about to fight the red scumbag again. Boom. Got some damage out of that, and that felt pretty, pretty okay. But we also got hit quite a bit in here. Oh, yeah, we have to take back the HP there. There's no way around it. There's no way around it, otherwise we will die. Give me the lightning one, sure. Not the biggest fan, but we have to. We just have to. I mean, getting some free crit chance. Who am I to say no to all of that? Gimme. Otherwise, we might just die again. And we can make our weapon better again. Working harder, thinking better, doing faster makes us stronger. Or we save the crystal... Nah, I wanted to say, maybe we save those crystal roses for after the boss fight. But that means having to get past this boss. And this boss is a problem. Because this boss is a scumbag as what he is. Damn. He's dashing, so we're gonna fire at him. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Insufficient energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's dashing again. We fire at him. Yeah, that's that damage. That makes me happy. And again. We're already past the halfway point. And bombs, bombs everywhere. Get me out of these bombs, man. Oh, damn. My projector sadly didn't quite reach him there. But we're looking fine here for the most part. 
can't get close to him. Because of that poison stuff there, but no, we can't go to town. The damage was real good. We got him. Oh, yes. The stacks doing all of them work. All right, let's leave this dreadful place. Back we are up in here. We got a few roses still left, so we can make the dash better. And the Throne Axe bad. I'm definitely going to have to take this one. And I kind of want to take it a second time. Flying Explode when it hits an enemy. Oh yes, I absolutely want that. Uh, we're definitely going to spend some resources in order to reduce our level in here. Let's reduce it again. It's costly, but I have to. Don't need no HP because we have made smart decisions early on. And the Fire Core. Yes. Making the Legendary even better. Even more maximum ignite sex, and we get even more expert damage just for having them. That should end up paying dividends once we fight against the next boss at the very, very latest. Alright, what's it gonna be? Fire core epic chance. Yes, please. Also very, very good. But I want to have more damage. I'm playing this game following a very, very simple recipe. My god, that extra though. And that very simple, simple principle is... I just assume that if I kill my enemies faster than they can kill me, I am not going to need any HP. Let's see if that is going to work out for us like that, guys. Let's see if that is gonna be the way to play the game. There's already a lot of damage being thrown around in here, as you can see. And it's a problem. But a problem that I'm pretty, pretty sure we can find solutions for. Oh, hi. Small spider up in there, but it destroyed and we got another fire core out of it. Getting even more stacks and extra damage. But I also like the idea of getting even more fire missiles in here. That's also a very, very good one. But I think for the moment, making the legendary stack up higher is gonna be our best course of action. If the enemy is dead, defense is useless. Exactly. Right. What are you going to defend against if there's just nothing left alive that could ever pose a tangible threat to you? That's the exact winner mindset to have. There you go. Um, 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 crit rate, cheese. Let's take the extra gems, I guess. We have to defeat a lot of enemies in here in the future after all. Oh, hi. Not really in the market of wanting to deal with you, but I have to. We actually get more dash damage in there, which is nice. So let's do it. Every advantage helps. And there we go. Oh man, I actually love this run right now. Those extras, man, they do so much. It's insanity incarnate. And there we go. Burn stack, condition reduction. Give it to me. This one is also very, very good. But I think for the moment, this one is going to do just as much, if not more. So you're playing the common game. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of their woman. Trust me, when I'm done with the scenario, the woman will not lament anything. Oh yes! Max just keeps on being the man with the plan. Less damage taken, huge HP upgrade, and... Extra dashes. Beautiful. Beautiful to behold. What do you have? Sub weapon attack? Ha, oh, I like the idea of having that, but it's not something we can really, really justify at this point. Maybe I should start spending some of the other resources we gather in here every now and then. What is this? Increases damage dealt by all hyper cores? That's, uh, those are the super long cooldown, super strong attacks. It's not bad. It's pretty, pretty good. It's good to know that it exists. We still learn new things about this game, and I'd love to see it. Alright, new zone. And more enemies for me to fight. And by fight, I mean completely and utterly destroy and make a proper mockery out of. Because that's the only way I know how to fight. That's the only way I have been taught how to fight. I would also say it's definitely among the best ways one could fight. 
get him out of here. We got him. Good. Uh, open the chest. And there is a pretty, pretty okay thing. Here, let's take it. And let's check this one too. I mean, 100 coins for extra stuff. Coins that we don't need currently. Ah, it's a rough one. It's a weird one. I don't think we should, but I will anyway. Oh, I got them. I got them. It was just instant without any sound input. I mean, that's fine still. We got what we wanted. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in here. And they are all going to share the same fate. I got shocked, though. One of these jokers has some shocking mechanics on him. You spiderlings are a problem. Maybe we should see to it that we get some shock immunity somewhere along the way. If this gives me the frost shield, though, that would be great. Uh, frost arrows. I mean, they're also kind of nice. It's extra damage, after all. And coins. No, we want the red, we want the red stuff. Now, Max! The Max Man. One more time. HP recovery rate. Just be cool. Let me read this. I'm just gonna take it anyway. The Max Man. I gotta say... Okay, this is actually something that interests me. So far, who do you think is the most useful character that we've seen so far? I gotta say, Max has come through for us time and time again. He has been by far the character I feel like has helped us the most. While also being the most price efficient. And I have not a single regret for having friendship him out very, very early on in here. Some fireballs for your discretion. And done and diddled. Wait, is Max and Sophie right? Uh, Max is the guy who cooks. And Sophie's the girl down below. Too slow. Great damage of all attacks. Yeah, sure, why not? And let's get this party started. I swear that X deals so much damage. It's insane. But we also get dealt quite a bitch. Quite a bit of damage. Did I just said quite a bitch of damage? My god. Nobody heard that. Uh, that's just extra damage. Which is not bad. Increase damage dealt to enemies and reduce the interval of burn. Why not just take this damage in here? Flame weapon skill increase and even more fire cores. They just keep piling up. Hong is the pricey and the other girl is close second to max. <laughs> Fun fact, just hearing the word max. Actually, I don't know why. That was just a sudden thing that kind of happened. Just hearing the word Max made me think of Temtem and how much I dislike Max. That was such a random thought coming out of nowhere. Take the extra attack. It's also gonna make our dashes strong in the long haul. And another chesticle waiting for me over here. And more enemies. They just keep popping in. But we are not going to give them anything. And down they go. Give me. There is movement speed, crit rate for the sub weapon and main weapon normal attack stuff. And we're gonna fight the spider in here, right? Yeah! In that case, I'm actually gonna heal. Got a feeling I'm gonna need it. Let's go. We're gonna burn the spider down to a crisp is what we are gonna do. Damn it. That was a bad start. That was a very, very bad start in here. But man, that damage in here. We're just gonna spawn those spider eggs. And we're absolutely gonna make an honest to god mockery of them. One of them spawned, that's fine. Good damage. Great damage, damn. Good poison bubbles there out of the boss. Damn, that poison attack. There's a shield. Oh my god, my HP. I'm dying. I'm almost dead. I'm dying to the poison right now. Or not. Oh, the small one. God damn. I had a feeling it would happen. I had a feeling it would happen. That is why I bought the HP. Oh, screw me, man. 
Get all these small ones out of here. Sad. Sad, 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 sad. Oh, I can't quite hit you there. There you go. This is in range of my onslaught. More spiderlings? Yes. Oh, man. We really didn't get a lot in terms of HP upgrades in this one so far because we were front loading our damage as high as we did. For better or worse. There was the big fire shot. One of them spiders is exploding. And we are done for in here, right? Yes, we should be. There you go. Oh, be damned. At least we got another fire core in here. Hyper core, that's a no. I really don't want that. Main weapon upgrade, normal attack, reese flame weapon again. Or do we take this one? Ah, let's, let's take this one. And we can get more upgrades in here, right? Yeah, we can afford this. But I actually want to make my axe skill better, so I'm actually gonna go in here. I have a weird feeling about that you may need to focus on HP. I have a weird feeling that you might be onto something there. Uh, here, this axe skill. The flying axe will explode when it is an enemy dealing extra damage. And all its created explode. If we can get that one, we should be absolutely destroying multiple rooms of enemies in a heart heartbeat. Uh, set it down to zero again. And fire core. On the legendary yet again. Hmm. <laughs> this one is also probably going to be very, very nice in here. But those fire blasts are rather really, really strong damage just coming from in here. Throw on the lightning core. Yeah, sure. Might as well get some extra crit chance out of the experience. Keep moving. The frost stacks are making the fire stacks weak. I don't think there is some kind of mechanic like that. I wouldn't mind getting some frost stuff, but I would just prefer to get more fire themed things. Just because, I mean, you see what's happening on the screen, right? And every fire core we make just makes us become even stronger still. And frost doesn't have that level of... Um, Scaling that all the fire cores have got going on for us right now. Oh my god, that that that's actually scared me a little bit. Okay, this is a bug. We open this one up, but apparently it still wants me to open it. Kind of weird, and there was nothing in it too. I mean, that's just one of my extras, and it's absolutely disgusting damage, and I'm living for it. Okay, we need to go back in here. And all the way down here is where we need to go. I see how it is. There's the exit, and we are gonna trigger it. Extra! These guys actually have some pretty, pretty substantial shielding on them. But we're still showing them what we are made of properly. Hawk is not all that smashy today. Okay, there's some HP. Better late than never, right? Increase my maximum HP, there you go. And more of those red roses. That's why the Fire Nation attack, you know it. What is this room? I've never been in this room before. What is going on? It was just a very, very long dr drop, I see how it is. Oh, and there's the enemies. There's Purple Orc again. The big old purple guy. Oh yeah, the purple guy. What was that again? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, I remember. And open up the chest first. We get attack of every summoned ally. Okay, I'm gonna take this, but only because I hope that my axe is being considered a summoned ally. Because that would be hilarious. I kind of doubt that it will be, but it would be hilarious. And we got it. Give me. Huge chunk of red roses. That might buy us our next big update. And we still have a lot of red cores, so we will buy out everything that's going to be offered for us here. Ah, uh, except for that one, because that's pretty, pretty bad. Movement speed, energy and HP. Basic attack, that's huge. Skill cooldown, also nice. And crit chance. Evasion increases all damage done. And crit damage. I'm gonna take this. Let's do it. And you got gambles. Attack of normal attacks. Ass! Yes, 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 yes. 
Finally, the guy's giving me some things to work with. And then we're gonna go for honking here. Hopefully getting even better stuff. Gimme, 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 all the things. There we go again. We don't have a hyper core yet, but we might. Decrease damage received by 15% for 3 seconds after using a skill. Yes. Definitely gonna get some use out of that. Also taking this attack damage. I don't have a hyper core, and I don't think I'm really going to get one anytime soon. So let's try to just restock and see if we can get two more good items. Damage received from poison attacks reduced, and even more damage. And immunity to shock. This one might actually be good, but there's a good chance we get this regularly out of a regular chest, so... Uh, still gonna take it. Here's me hoping that we will not need to rely on it, but it's definitely better to have it than to not have it. We see attack of every summoned ally. Um, let's make our weapon, our sub-weapon stronger still. And there's some enemies! Throw that axe, get that damage. And this guy over here, he always looks so weird and scary. Oh, we got him. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you there. Uh, even more main attack damage. Let's destroy these fools. You just love to see this damage. You just love to see those small meteorites popping down on the enemies, man. Makes me honest to God happy. That is that real honest to god daddy the grand happiness right then and there. Get this guy over here who spawns the small ones. And there you go. Yeah, not so unstoppable now, are you? Oh, oh, there's one more still. Got them all. This time for sure. And another fire core, yes. I've actually read some books of the Forgotten Realms and I actually do know who Dritz Durden is. And you are my best friend in the world. All hits create an explosion. This should be huge. Okay, after this I kind of want to make my dash better. But I also do quite a few regular attacks and I think just getting the first upgrade of this one is gonna be nice. I don't really see the explosion in that one, but sure, why not. Keep moving forward. Small chest can definitely afford. Damage received from burns reduced. Uh, and, 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 and. Oh, yeah, even more dash damage. Do I take this? I kind of want to. I will. Just to keep us fluid. Another one? I hear you. I hear you. Just be cool. Just be cool and nice. My god, my axe throws. My axe throws just. I one shot that room. Do you see that? That's a lovely stuff. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you by yourself? Fine. Fine. Die, then. More enemies? No, that was all it has to it. Oh my god, the axe is so strong with this fire build. And I am so in love with everything we're making happening in here. But I got a feeling that there will be a root awakening later on pipeline. The game has made me feel this strong before. And it always came back to bite me later down the line. And Mr. Max. More evasion, more max HP and crit damage. You're the man, Max. You're the man. Big Max in this game. Let me tell you, this Max is doing a good job to recuperate the good reputation of Maxes all over the world that tempt him root. There you go. More damage made at full HP, which we are kind of right now. But there's a good chance that that will not be the case forever. So just because of that, just take the nice and safe get in here instead. And this guy over here. See? He immediately got hit afterwards. Just my dash is dealing so much damage too by applying a lot of stacks pretty, pretty fast. And one more room of fools for me to fight through. And a lot of explosions on the ground, my god. And more explosions on the ground, huh? So, here's me hoping that this room reward will be good. Will be an honest to god game winner. Got him. 
Yes. Oh, it's just a lightning core. I mean, I'm gonna take it. And I mean, having a hyper core, probably not the worst thing. But I think having more crit chance is just gonna be a lot better for pretty much everything our run is doing right now. Uh, we certainly don't have quite enough roses for this, but we are gonna get there. And then, and then, and then, and then, we're gonna progress. Oh yeah, now it's gonna be against Plantum. Plantor. The Planty enemy. How often have you seen this guy die already? Three or four times? Apparently, he's so easily digestible that this boss just can't stop eating away at him. Ooh. Good, avoided that. And there's multiples of enemies. Look at the damage. Isn't it just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? More enemies for me to destroy. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now it's these jokers. Never stood a chance. Oh, dodge, dodge. Oh, you. That got me. We make that mockery out of this fight. Can I backtrack? Um, Within one of these rooms, I think yes. But if after that, probably no more. Oh, man. We just absolutely made a huge mockery out of the guy and felt so good. Felt so good. It was crazy. So, yeah, I think I want to make the dash better here now. Increase the number of hits of Gale Axe. Sure. Let's see. Doesn't look much different, but it should be dealing more damage now the way I understood it. And, 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 and. Crit damage of all attacks. It's not bad, but I would rather just get this fire core. And make everything better still. Hmm. Not the best options in here, truth be told. But making the shot better is almost never a bad thing, right? And we're gonna take even more crit chance. Probably this one is gonna... Ah, oh, but I'm spending a lot of energy. Let's take this one for the fixed increase. Don't need no heal, but I definitely need to reduce my danger level again. Definitely working towards keeping that level as low as possible at all given opportunities. Just because, just because, I think it's gonna help us. Alright, back in the city. And we are already painting this city in fire red. Like the Pokemon games. HP below, we get even more damage. Chance to reduce damage dealt and reduce sub-energy consumption. Definitely gonna take that. It might be super useful. Oh my god. I only saw explosions happening there. Only explosions happening there as my axes pop off and more HP. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's not the best get, sadly, but we're gonna take it. And another fire core. I'm just getting excited every time I see one of these thingies. Just because of how good they make us. How strong and powerful they make us. Dun, 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 dun. After dashing attack increases, hell yeah! We dash a lot in this run after all, so we are going to reap the benefits out of that one. Oh man, these machines there. That's one down. Damn it. Kinda missing having some CC in here this time around though. But we still get the killing done. Fire core appears, better chance for it to be good. But I also like the idea of having even more damage. Let's take it. And destroy these fools. Oh, there's explosions everywhere immediately. My god. Got him. And we got him. Just dashed him into nothingness. Fire core giving me more guided missiles. I actually really, really want those. But I also like the idea of having even more fire blasts. Oh, I think I'm gonna take it. Let's go for the guided missiles. And this is gonna be the whole hill again. Oh, X means this isn't a fight anymore. It became a massacre. Baby, you absolutely know it. It is not bad. Definitely gonna take one of these. Did it just become the same item again? Oh, no, it's at 30%. Okay, good. Um, reload speed, maximum HP, skill attack. That's huge. Skill consumption and crit damage, also nice. But this is nice. 
a huge chunk of survivability and some other niceties. We get a lot of MP but lose HP. Ah, not sure how I feel about this one. Probably gonna leave it behind. And I'm gonna go for Honk again. We have a lot of money. We might be able to buy three or four items if they are worth our time. As far as Max and Sophia, so both know each other or are relatives. Might be. She kind of says that she's just here to, you know, chill. But there might be something to be said about them actually being acquainted with one another. Okay, immunity against frozen and some occasional HP regeneration. And from now on, the rewards on this guy are gonna be more expensive. Here. I do not mind, but I do like... Getting a little bit of a legendary in here. Also reduce damage, but we don't have that much HP. It's probably better to just take the extra attack in here, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And there's my enemies. One of them just spawned right in from behind. I know you are scum. Oh, hi! Extra! There's more. Extra! And they're still coming. And I'm not going to give them the benefit of getting a victory against me in here. We also dropped the snack in there. That's nice to see. And we got him. I make a wild assumption to say we did not get through this room this fast ever before. And there's another fire core. Yes. Add more dash damage, movement speed, attack speed. And yeah, we take this. Oh, hi. Can we afford you? We can afford you to a degree. Not the next one, but at least this one. Oh, the train session. This was a boss, right? This counted as a boss, I think. I killed this guy just with my dashes. Feels good. Feels very, very good. Gimme. As we wait for the enemies to come my way. Ah, uh, there. Yeah. That's all she wrote, buddy boy. More? Somewhere? There they are. I knew there would be more. Good, 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 good. No more out of you. That's a no. And I saw you vanish on me. And he actually was unstoppable, so he didn't get flinched. Oh, hi. Oh my god, I love the axe so very much. Oh ha! Ah. These machines, man. These machines need to leave forever, I swear. There's another one spawning in from be above. I mean, now and then, just because we have those ice errors, we still get enemies frozen up, and it's very, very nice. He's gonna burn to death, isn't he? Damn right he is. Precisely. Got him. More? Is that all you got? It probably isn't. Oh, there he is. He was waiting for me. He was biding his time. Okay, now we can go for the finishing touches in here. Easy destruction. Oh, no. That would have been an easy laughing stock I would have made out of myself. And we did it. Fire core. Well earned. Get a dash upgrade, but I don't want it. More damage out of this. And each burn increases its damage. It's probably gonna be the best one in here, I think. Pick up the snacks, because we can. Nothing else lying around, so we keep progressing. Seamug is just such a satisfying team, isn't it? I really, really enjoy it so much. So, we don't have the roses for any of that, but we do have the crystals for this. I'm gonna buy a little bit of feeling, just to be on the safe side of history. Don't need that. Do need this. Uh, that's gonna make me a bit stronger. That's gonna make me a lot stronger. Let's take it. I'm actually using the extra a lot more than the firebolt action now, for this or that reason. So everything that makes it better. Like, this is gonna be the real field test of how good my extra really is. 
Yeah, I say it's pretty, pretty good. If we can deal with these sorts of enemies like this, then we are definitely in a pretty, pretty decent spot, I'd say. Let's take the cheese. Open this one up too. And we get a, a hero's sword. I don't think there are any demon lords in another city. Yeah, that's not it. There's plenty of demon lords in another city, trust me. I mean, are there still any? I know there were demon lords back when I played the game. But then there was actually a raid in which we destroyed all of them, so I might be talking out of my ass here. They might be already have been dealt with. Under City, by the way, that's a Final Fan... not Final Fantasy, a World of Warcraft reference. World of Warcraft. Blamethrower, of course, we don't have any usage for. This one might also not be a bit too bad, but making that missile stronger still gives me the kicks. Under City in World of Warcraft, it's a city where all the undead people live. And they actually had a demon lord of sorts just chilling there, you know. I have... Was there a wall? I couldn't move past this guy, but it was so weird. Burn to death. Oh my god, this damage is actually insane. Crit damage, bleeding, and even more HP regeneration from chips. I don't think we need that. I'm gonna take the extra crit damage then. And there's my enemies. Plenty armor on them too. Okay, you know, this is where I feel like trouble might still find me. Just because of how many they are and how they are all unstoppable. We're still doing good damage, but actually finding the opportunities to attack in order to get the energy to throw my axe out, it's getting hard. But getting that frost shield in here might save me. Frozen spear. Frozen arrows upgraded to a frozen spear. We have never seen this upgrade. Frozen spear spears through enemy and push them back. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think I want this. I think I want this. This sounds like it could be... Okay, first of all, it looks pretty, pretty nice. Actually having frost spears now. But I think it's also gonna deal some pretty, pretty good damage for us, right? Here's me hoping. Alright, Maxi. Max and Sophia. Skill attack by 15. That's actually good. Cooldown as well. Reduce damage taking it again. Yeah, it has to be this one. The beans. Give me the beans. And this is sub weapon attack. Skill attack. That's a no is what that is. Give me honk. Honk honk. Actually, it looks kind of funny when you just look back and forth to see how the spears are just dashing around you. Okay, so we have a mushroom, we have even more attack damage, and... I mean, sure, why not? We can afford it. We have that kind of money on us. No, what's gonna go down in here? It's chocolate cake! Even more dashes for us, and even more damage and evasion. Hell yeah, Max! Kinda got a hell yeah for Max. This guy is just a constant and ongoing source of honest-to-god excitement for me. Never change, my man. Never change. Also, thanks for the cheese. Supper and crit rate. Normal attack crit rate. Ah, uh, let's go for this one then. Every now and then we still use our guns after all. And we are apparently very, very close to having to fight some boss in here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. You need to stop. Getting a lot of roses in here. There's still a lot of enemies around. And down you go. Good girl. We actually at full HP and we get another HP upgrade. Blessed to the highest degree. We have some rows and we can spend them for the last upgrade, giving us a fire trail, which means even more burn stacks, which in turn means. Fires of flame spirit recharge every second. Enemies hit explode. So we can change the spear to those. I wish I would have seen it sooner. Maybe we can get that next time though. Alright, enter. Max is on your team? Yeah, for sure. Max is a real MVP in here. Okay, we have to fight this guy again. 
And our damage already looks vastly superior compared to what it was before. And because our axe actually goes through to enemies and darts around them, we are in for a really good time in here. Yeah, this guy is going to go down. Yeah, 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 he has no chance. He has no chance. Oh, hi. We remember those rockets. And he's almost done. Okay, I see how it is. I think I see how it is. Yeah, it was so much damage, but we got him. We got him. Destroyed that robot. Washed him off. Cleansed by the fire. Oh, reduce my threat level, do you kindly? Thank you. Alrighty then, alrighty then, alrighty then. Gonna save some of those roses. Don't need this. Definitely need this one though. And even more ignited guiding missiles. Missiles. Definitely want those. So we take them. And we're also gonna make our frost shield better. It was snowing here today. It was actually honestly got snowing here today. And I was like, what in the hell? Mm, this one still. And forwards we go. New territory, guys. We are seeing new waters yet again. Esperanza. Okay, with this is this the end game? We're in Esperanza, where we wanted to go. Okay, Max, first of all. All damage done, increase, take, and reduce. And another dash. Max, you are just the most beautiful human being I've ever seen. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Okay, we destroyed them all, though. Did you just shoot water at me? Are you using water gun against me? I resent that. There's a chest, I like it. Crit rate, uh, cheese, and more damage when we're below 30% HP. Where do we go from here, though? Where do I go from here? Is this still an enemy living somewhere? Oh, hi! The dragon thingy. If that is even what it can be referred to as. There you go. Okay. Axe still dealing pretty, pretty good damage here for me. And they all bite the dust. Okay, you. Oh, you. But I think we have them all. Not quite. Oh, there. I see you. But we get another... F oh, look at that. We get all the cores in here. And an HP upgrade. But of course, I'm going to take the fire core. You know me. You know our role. You know I do business at this point, right? More fire blasts. And there is gonna be apparently only rooms that give me everything now. I like. All the fire cores are gonna help us. Imagine swinging a weapon and setting the whole screen on fire. Yeah, exactly. That's what our life has become in here. Danger level increases and damage goes up yet again. We have 500 HP, and 0.5% of that is gonna be a 2.5% damage reduction. I would rather just destroy my enemies. Ice core, don't care. 30% chance to reduce the damage taken. Yes. Plenty of enemies in here. Destroy the lightning dragon. Oh, how? That lightning ray, though. I ain't having that. I am not having to deal with that today. There we go. This means we are going to fight a boss soon. Okay. Okay. No idea what's going on in here, but I hate it. But I'm dealing with it. <laughs> we actually deal with it pretty, pretty nicely, I gotta say. Alright, fire core. Probably the last one of the run. The way I see it. If my guesstimation is right, and it's actually not that good. It's actually not that good, but it's fine. Nope, there's still one more room coming our way. And we actually had full HP, so we don't even need to pick that up to increase our danger level. Esperanza slap. Okay, we're still just getting along in here. There is extra HP when we dodge an attack. Could be good. Let's take it. We have Sony Dash, so it should just come naturally to us, right? Uh, active item. Hang on a second, hang on a second. When used, goes into rage for 7 seconds, increase the movement speed and attack speed. It's not bad, but I don't think it's that good for us, actually. Nah, I think I'd rather actually take this damage reduction here. Oh, hi! What are you? And where did you go? Also, he had a fire trail on him. Not a fan of that. 
And the lightning ray coming my way. Okay, this herald is literally setting the ground on fire. Taking a page out of my book, evidently, is what he is doing. And go. Oh, man. You can tell. This is where the run... Where the game really, really wants you to have at least some mitigations. Against freeze and uh, fire and all that stuff. Hey, there. Take this guy out. Got him. And my danger level will increase in a moment. Oh, damn. But we got him. That's one. And we got the other one, too. Fire in the hole. Chain explosion yet again. It's not too bad. Reducing the interval of the burn. Also kind of nice. But I think we're going to take this one. And then and then and then... It keeps going on and on and on. Another big chest. Definitely gonna take it. Another one of these healing slots. And another one there. And a lot of freezing. Some icy night looking guy, guys. We got him all though, right? Yeah, we did. There's a cactus giving me huge revenge counter damage. This one might be good because it allows me to use my axe for free when we are at a certain HP threshold. I'm gonna take it. Ice core, don't care. And more damage mirror below. Yes. And this is it. Oh, you! You just fired something at me and I don't appreciate that kind of treatment. Destroyed the Icy Paladin and the Lightning Dragon is still around. It's dead. Fire core, one more time. Sub-weapon upgrade. Don't think that's gonna be the play in here. It's gonna be this one, then. Even more damage. Okay, this looks like we are now officially in the endgame, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see where this is gonna lead us. Oh, it's you, Electra! I remember you. So you're finally here. Ah, I was out on a stroll. I thought I'd drop by. Your petty revenge ends here, Ingrate. Ingrate! What oh-so-merciful thing have you done for me besides steal my life away from me under my nose? You deceived me, killed my parents, and used me like a hound. There are as many dead men as there are stars in the night sky. However, you were not one of them, thanks to him. I fed the chosen children, gave them a roof over their heads, taught them how to survive. Is that not mercy? Even you being here, running that mouth of yours, is all thanks to him. You should be grateful to him and for even being alive. It's quite funny that you're so angry now when you had not a care for those below when you knew nothing. You know, someone once asked me why I was headed to the floating city. It was a, why are you trying to save the world kind of question, you know? Want to know what I said? I just don't like you guys. Cut the chit chat and just do your job. I'm here to do mine. Alright, Electra. Okay. That was a lot of lightning she threw down there on me. I see how it is. I see how it is, girly. More of those. Okay, okay, that's garbage. Yeah, stay there. Stay there, that's good. Still getting that lovely damage in there. And those homing bolts again. Oh no! Good. We can actually dodge those, so that's nice. What is this? Okay, we have to destroy this. I see how this. I see how this. Damn it. Okay. Halfway through. Oh, you! Where are you at, girly? Where is she? Oh, there! <laughs> I was actually losing sight of her. That's fine. Halfway through to our HP pool, but also through hers. Okay, we have to just attack her as she keeps pumping in. Oh, there she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she uses that move and we throw our axe like this. This is our big win of opportunity. We took so much damage there just now. Oh, no, oh, no. Where's she at? Where's she at? Oh no! Damn! Good. No way! 
The lightning popped up so fast there. We got so far. No. No. I got so far. I tried so hard. In the end, it didn't even matter. But on the bright side, we can make more friends.